I want to make a, a promise to you guys. Um, with influence comes responsibility. And I thought about it and I just, I just wanted to tell you that generations live, generations, what we do on the YouTube show, whatever we do, I, want, I, I just want to commit uh, to you guys and, and to the Lord that, that I will remain holy. C.C. Winans recently spoke out against scandalous behavior among bishops in the black church, emphasizing the critical need to hold leaders accountable to biblical standards. Her remarks highlight the responsibility that comes with influence and the necessity for leaders to live holy lives that reflect God's unchanging character. Winans called on believers to commit to upholding holiness and to ensure that their actions and teachings align with the Word of God. I want to make a, a promise to you guys. Um, with influence comes responsibility. And I thought about it and I just, I just wanted to tell you that generations live, generations, what we do on the YouTube show, whatever we do, I want, I, I just want to commit to you guys and, and to the Lord that, that I will remain holy. Um, I, I, my prayer is that it will always be a safe place. That you don't have to come in wondering what you're going to get. Because if it doesn't look like God, it's not God. If it doesn't sound like him, it's not him. Because he never changes. There's a lot of changing going on. And I kind of got an attitude about it. In her statement, Winan stressed that if something doesn't look or sound like God, it isn't from him. This echoes the biblical teaching in 1 John 4, 1, which advises testing the spirits to see whether they are from God. She also emphasized the importance of accountability, urging followers to confront and correct leaders who stray from biblical principles. When I was being condemned from the four corners of the earth, I had a moment. I had a moment where I wanted to kill myself and was ready. What kept me was not a scripture. What kept me is that every time I showed up here, you were here. Winan's comments come at a time when several high-profile scandals have rocked the black church community, including allegations against Bishop Eddie Long and potential revelations about other prominent figures. These incidents have raised serious questions about the integrity and authenticity of spiritual leaders. But with influence comes responsibility. And, and, and just like the scripture I read, if you ever see anything that I'm doing or saying, and it don't line up with the word, I need you to run. Don't say, oh, we love her. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Don't hurt my feelings. Hurt my feelings. Because you standing for holiness will straighten me up. You understand what I'm saying? How many know you got to stand for something? Or else it becomes very, very confusing. So, so we want to make that commitment to you and your children. And your children's children. We're going to do it right because I fear God, right? And how many know when you fear God, you lose the fear of people? I'm here because of his goodness. So everything I am, everything I've done is because of his kindness and his mercy to me. 
Winnin's commitment to maintaining a holy environment and her call for others to do the same serve as a reminder of the sacred responsibility that church leaders have. Her message underscores the need for the church to remain a place of genuine worship and holiness, led by individuals who exemplify Christian values and uphold the sanctity of the church. I would not take my life for the one mere reason my family loved me my church loved me and regardless of what anybody said love lifted me and carried me And you didn't judge me. And I, I don't think there are others, there's, there are folk here who know what I mean, that you're alive because somebody loves you. They didn't give you a sermon. They didn't question you. They didn't call you before a council. Holiness and righteousness are essential in following God's word, and denominational labels should not be prioritized over the truth of the Bible. This principle underscores the importance of living a life that reflects God's character and teachings, rather than adhering strictly to the traditions and labels of specific denominations. These are fundamental aspects of the Christian faith. Believers are called to live holy and righteous lives, embodying the values and principles taught in the Bible. This means striving to align one's actions, thoughts, and intentions with God's will. The truth of the Bible should always take precedence over denominational affiliation. While denominations can provide a sense of community and shared beliefs, they should not overshadow the core teachings of Christianity. The focus should always be on what the Bible says and how it instructs believers to live to live. Leaders and followers alike must be held accountable to biblical standards. This includes calling out and correcting behaviors that do not align with God's word, regardless of one's denominational background. True spiritual integrity requires a commitment to the truth of the Bible above all else. Emphasizing holiness and righteousness according to biblical truth can help foster unity among believers. When Christians prioritize the teachings of the Bible over denominational differences, they can work together more effectively to uphold and spread the message of Christ. The ultimate goal is to live out the gospel in every aspect of life. This involves loving others, practicing justice and mercy, and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. By focusing on holiness, righteousness, and biblical truth, believers can more authentically represent Christ to the world. By adhering to these principles, Christians can ensure that their faith is grounded in the unchanging word of God, rather than the shifting doctrines and practices of human institutions. This commitment to holiness, righteousness, and biblical truth is crucial for a genuine and effective Christian witness.